So I'm Rafael. Um, I run Obux Project. And today we're going to see a Java challenge about uh, collection factories. And uh, I'm going to just share my screen with you. You see my screen OK? Yeah. Yes, it's OK. Fine. So this is a challenge about collection factories. So this concept was introduced in Java 9. So the main uh, usability of this concept is to make it easier to um, create a, a, a list or a set so we can um, use, we can save a lot of code to create um, the um, list and, and collections. Um, we have here, um, we are adding an element to the list and we are um, creating a string and here we are creating a copy and just adding our elements here and then we are printing everything in the end so what's I'm gonna ask you what what will be the the output from the challenge okay is that it yes something like that to make okay so let's see the answer then let's execute the program uh, let's Where did we learn? You almost um, got the answer very well. <laughs> <laughs> well at, at least you want part. That's good. Yeah. What happened? Well, uh, okay. Let's see why the answer is like this. And as usual, let's debug to see in details. So the first thing here, we are creating a, an array list. Then we are creating two collection factories. The first thing to realize here is that collection factories are actually immutable. So when you we try to add any element into a collection factory, there will be an exception. So it will fall here. Oh, good to know okay. that. Yeah. So, and here on the stream, so we have to remember that a stream is immutable. So, when we try to add something to the stream, it will be lost here. So, this line will be just uh, lost. Harley Queen will be um, added into a stream, but as the stream is just, um, they don't keep any state, it will just be lost. Um, and then we have the, we are adding um, a new array list uh, of DC villains into the final DC characters. And, um, here it will be fine. It's possible uh, to add these um, these elements into the final characters. So, and then here we are copying the set. Um, the yeah, the civilian set, and it's fine. We are copying to a var. So a var is important to emphasize that it's from Java 10. And it accepts any type. It's, uh, it's, it's very similar to JavaScript. You can, um, you can set any type to a var. But you can only use it locally. So that's important to remember. Okay, so let's go to 
this line of code. So <laughs> as always, there is a trick here. So we are adding all um, the villains, but uh, we are also creating a set with uh, two values that are the same. So when that happens, I mean, in, in a set interface, we can't have an element with the same value. So that's the problem here. So when we try to add Joker and Joker, we're going to have uh, an exception. Okay. So we're going to fall into this catch. And then it's going to be where the villains. And then the result we expected. Uh, let's see here. No space for Marvel heroes here. Where are the villains? So it's basically that. Do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I mean, so the I was just following um, Happy Path, so I didn't catch the exception causing uh, scenarios, and I was not aware of that either. So, so thank you. For okay. Thank you. You do you have any question? Uh, this is commenting in, in the factor of set off. And I was I was thinking about the uh, exception you would occur on the on that line on and you have a set of joker, rider and joker. And but uh, uh, in fact uh, I thought that to uh, one of the the the, par the parameter would be ignored, but uh, so th this is the the behavior here is when you when you repeat one element you you have an an exception, and this is this, this is new for me. I th I thought it would be ignored. Oh, we, one of this is because it's a collection factory. If it was a normal set, it would have it it would happen what you said. Oh, that, that's good to know that. I, I was not uh, aware of that, uh, that behavior of the uh, factor. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So that's it for today. Um, I'll just stop my screen sharing. So yeah, thanks for everyone. Um, and um, if you want to know more, you go to nobugsproject.com and there will be a session there called um, Java Dev Gym. And then you can take more challenges and improve your Java skills. So thank you. <laughs>